All right. Now we are going to discuss about logs. Generate and analyze logs. So we are going to view debug logs in the log inspector and text editor. Set various log levels for your debug logs. And finally, manage and switch perspective using the log inspector. Okay, to do this, I'm going to launch my playground the developer beginner one and then we are going to launch our developer console from the gear icon here developer console all right so this is from the previous video i'm just going to leave it there if i flip back here go back to our trail all right so First off, we are going to view logs in the text editor. So I am going to run this code and then execute. So from execute anonymous window, or well you can do just control E here or command E. We have it from our previous video sample there. So I'm just going to execute this. But if I put an invalid email here, I'm just going to repaste this here, right? This is an invalid email and I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to hit execute there. See, we have an error invalid email address. But then if I open the log, it's going to open the log. Oh yeah, we have to change this first. Let me see the trail. Yeah, we need to actually change this first here. Otherwise, it won't even execute. So I'm going to execute this and open the log. So we have the log open there. So you can then from here see the timestamp when things are executing and what event took place here execute heap allocate and and so on and the details if you just want your debug message only you check that and you have the user debug event displayed there right if you just want executable only you click that you can have all the execute executable event and you can also filter what you want to search here for example if you want to search yeah you know what i mean right you can search the log there so let's flip back here okay so we've done this part we've checked the log data we've tried the filtering debug only executable and we've seen timestamp event details, the columns there, what you can see. Now let's try opening it on um, text editor. You can open a raw log file. If you go back to your developer console and you hit debug or you hit open file, um, open raw log there. Okay, if you hit there, and then you have your raw log for this execute anonymous we just ran. So here you can also play around with the log with your own tools if you have one. So you can do that if you want. Flip back here. Okay. So this is the syntax for system dot debug method. So you can put your own text there with a quote right uh, you can also display the variable value a value of your variables system.debug your variable or you can put your label combined with your variable so you can you know debug it debug your code trace your code what's going on all right so next we are going to talk about the log inspector so this is a different panels which you can 
uh, use to further investigate your code and see what's going on. So how do you open the log inspector? So you go to your debug and then view log panels. All right. So if I go back here, debug, view log panels, it's, it's um, grayed out at the moment. I need to switch back to here because the raw, you can't do with the raw debug few log panels so make sure you're on this uh, log there and you can choose what you want to see i want to see the stack tree for example execution stack the source the source list the variables and overview basically i'm checking everything there if i close that and i lower this a bit so we have some space there that's more like and you have performance tree and you can uh, open the, the the tree there see what's going on with the performance duration how many milliseconds and stuff execution tree you can open that as well what's being execute executed hmm? what class and so on so it's calling the send email class with method and stuff so you can see what's going on this is the log that we've seen before the stack here and we can we can see what each do um, on a trail let me just uh, scroll this down a bit here from this blue there okay so that looks better so if i flip back to our trail what is this so stack three Please read through this stack tree display logs entries within the hierarchy of their objects and their execution using a top down tree view. All right, that's the stack tree, this guy here. For instance, if one class calls a second class, the second class is shown as the child of the first. So, one class, um, this is the execute anonymous apex, our our apex which is the command e here this calls the send mail right so you see the send mail class was called so it's a child of that and you see what's inside that you can see it like that execution stack <clears throat> displays a bottom-up view of the selected item it displays the log entry followed by the operation that called it so this one so you can see this is the execution stack it's bottom up so this 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 is going up like that and then finally inspect results okay so we have execution log which we've discussed before then and the source the source is um the actual codes the actual code right this is the source right the, the actual code that that was running and then we also have um, source list display the context of the code being executed when the event was logged. For example, if you select the log entry generated when the faulty email address was entered, the source list show execute anonymous apex. Variables is your variables and the values and the overview finally. All right. So that's basically the panels you will be playing around a lot when you're developing and especially when you're debugging meaning something went wrong or something's um, timing out and you want you want to see what's wrong the code is running more than 60 seconds and you get an apex cpu timeout you can't run more than 60 seconds so you don't want you want to see what's going on um you know you can debug it from here this is a very very helpful tool all right so Next is perspective, you know, like workspaces. Perspective is just um, deciding what window you want to see. So if I flip back here, you can go debug switch perspective or debug perspective manager. So if I go debug uh, switch perspective, this is log only. If I see analysis, you can see that it's predefined, right? what window you want to you wanna have and then if you want to see debug it's that so 
you can also save your own for example i want to add that and then name it jimmy so i'm going to debug and then save perspective as jimmy okay so now if i can see um switch perspective i have a my own personal perspective which is jimmy there all right so let's flip back to the trail so um, we can now manipulate log data as well to find what you need so log categories we have apex code and database but then we can do the log levels here and change it so how do you change it so you go here if i go back to my developer console um, go to debug and at the bottom you see change log levels and then you can change here um, according to what you want right so you can click on any and change what you want to see is it the finest or or not okay so for example i just want fine for here and then validation none and so on so you can change that and hit done same thing you can change uh, for a class an apex class or an apex trigger you can add a new one but you can you have to define what class or trigger you want to uh, you want to uh, change the the log like if you change that you can now right change what you want to see for that trigger or for that class the same thing for user level so if you know your user id the record id of the user you can also define the logging level for that particular user very helpful so we don't have that we just go uh, close that so that's log levels so um let's go back go down here <clears throat> So let's change log levels. That's pretty much it. And next we are going to do the challenge. All right, so this is the challenge. So we are going to combine this on the same video because this is pretty simple. First off, uh, change the Apex logging for dev console to the finest. Let's do that. And I'm going to go to my debug change log levels for sf dev console change um, apex code to the finest all right and done and done and i'm gonna flip back to my trail here so use execute anonymous to execute your email mission specialist apex class using your email address let's do that again so i'm just gonna close this and do my command E. This is my execute anonymous. I'm gonna execute with an open log here. So execute that, it's gonna take a few seconds. It's gonna pop up the log. And once that's done, we can, let me just flip back to the trail. It's taking too long. Open the execution log. Okay, and then we want this panel stack tree, execution stack and source execution overview stack tree execution stack source execution overview so this is the log so debug panel stack tree execution stack execution um, overview i don't know what the log actually right the source let's see is it source uh yeah source and then source execution overview and then save it as execution details execution overview okay so save that to save that you go to um, debug and then save perspective as I'll flip back here execution details yes all right so there you have it so i saved that so now we can get the points and i will see you on the next video which is inspect object at checkpoints which is going to be interesting as well all right i'll see you in the next video bada bing bada boom hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds 
and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank <laughs> you.